Hey there Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing and I'm Mike D. Well, in this video we're going to do another segment of the cleaning table and today we're going to be cleaning some blue runners. Did two trips this past weekend, one was with Amber and one was Summer and both trips we caught some blue runners. So we're going to try them out in a Trash Fisher Treasure video coming out here pretty soon. But real quick we're going to clean some up for the cleaning table playlist. I'll see you guys at the cleaning table. <laughs> guys I got my two blue runners here so we're gonna go ahead and flay these out I'm gonna flay them just like I would a Jack Revelle right behind the head here and we'll just go right down the back like that make sure you hit this back that backbone and then we're just gonna go along the backbone like this make sure you hear that clicking sound you got all that meat off then right here this fin starts right there just go all the way through knife comes out and just go all the way down you'll feel it put some pressure in and then cut through right here it's gonna be a little tough to cut through right there because of those hard scales like that once you get that through just come back in and just go all the way back up about like that there you go. There's a blue runner fillet. Got the same color meat as in the Jack Revelle. I've done a little bit of research on these. This side I'm just going to flip through and just go all the way down. They are a delicacy in some parts of the world. Some people really, really like these, and I've seen a, I've seen some uh, people do it a sushi style. They said the meat's really delicate and really good for sushi. I've seen uh, people broiling it, blackening it, and frying it. So there's actually quite a lot of people that eat these. So we're gonna try it out. Only thing I've ever really done with Blue Runners is make fish dip. So I'm kind of interesting, interested to see how this is gonna turn out. We're gonna do a catch and cook with these, but also the cleaning portion of this will go in my uh, how to clean a blue runner in my cleaning table playlist so we'll clean all this up real quick and I'm gonna save the bodies to put in my crab traps along with the lane snapper we're gonna be cleaning today as well all right just come right here hold your knife in just gently go along that skin Try to leave as much of that dark meat as you can on the skin. And here we go, this is what we got. So I'm going to doctor these up a little bit. Find a little pin bones right there. Take the rib cage out. All right. Well, we've got some pin bones going down, all the way down here. So take those out. Alrighty, so that's what we're left with right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to take some of this dark meat off, about like that. There we go. That looks good. I'll go ahead and do these in two parts so I can get all that dark meat off. About like that, guys. That's what we're looking for. Two clean pieces of meat like that. I right, will do one more. Meat's really firm, has a really good feel to it. A lot like, again, a lot like a Jack Revelle. And those pin bones go way down. Out. So we'll just cut 
cut it in half here, take all this dark meat off. There we go. Get this little back piece here. There you go. Alright, I'm going to get these other two done, and I'll see you in a second. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope if you're out there and you were wondering how to clean the Blue Runner, I hope this helps you or just helps you in general cleaning any kind of fish. You know, I have a lot of videos in my cleaning table playlist, so if you could, go check those out, especially if you're trying to learn to clean different types of fish. I have a bunch of different species in there, different bunch of different methods of how to clean fish. And we're going to be doing some more as the summer goes on, hopefully catch some new species and do some different styles of cleaning, just a whole bunch of cool stuff. I want to thank you guys very much for subscribing to my channel and being a part of this channel. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate each and every one of you all very much. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications because I'm uploading videos at least three times a week. Until I get to see you guys soon here on the water, tight lines, Jay. Hey, Jay Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jay Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page, where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. But check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, JD Rockers.